Hey everybody, it's Canadagraphs here. Um, this is going to be a set video for Batwoman. It is from a November 5th film shoot. Um, sorry, it's taken me so long to get around to it. I uh, November was kind of a hectic month for me and I fell behind on a few projects. So here's some of the video. You obviously can see uh, Javicia Leslie there in her new Batwoman costume. Uh, the person with their back to us is Megan Tandy as uh, Sophie Moore. You can see um, I did a little like pan down so you can look at the uh, things on her arm there. I don't know what you call those. Spikes. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it, this is the best look I've had it. I've had of it even though I've uh, seen it prior to this. Um, this is a uh, scene her getting into the car and this is the, the scene basically the way they did it like they walk out of this alley towards their cars and they do uh, a quick chat scene there um, eventually Batwoman turns and goes and gets in her car and Sophie uh, walks towards that truck that you see off to the right and that's basically the end of the scene Oh, I didn't realize I edited in an extra second of that uh, clip. Oops. <laughs> um, so here's some photos of the Batmobile, which was on set for the night. Um, it was parked off to the side for a good chunk of the night, and they were just uh, having it sit there, waiting to be used in the scene while they were filming other parts they were in a parkade and they were filming up higher in the parkade while the car just sat there. So I took a couple of photos before they started. Then I came back after they wrapped and I took a few more. Um, there was uh, there was a couple of times where they had uh, the lights on on it, but a lot of the time it was just sitting there. So um, this is how it looks when it's not lit up and uh, ready for action. There, there's a shot of it with it, uh, with the lights on, getting ready. You can see the uh, underside of the car has like an orange trim on it too. Um, I know some people have looked at it and thought, think it's red, and maybe it is. I mean, to me it looks a little more orange than red, but I'm not going to nitpick small details like that. Um, there's Megan Tandy on set. Uh, she was, this is after the scene they had... Uh, done up in the parkade and then came down here and there's Javicia. She was in her costume um, Shortly after she would put her jacket on but I guess she had just come down from doing the scene and hadn't put it on yet And they were just reading through the lines, which is very common before you do a scene You just you don't just jump in and do the scene you do a quick read through once or twice of the lines make sure you remember which scene you're doing and uh, There's Javicia with her jacket on this is shortly after they got down there um, it was funny, they tried pretty hard that night to cover up everything going on. Like, there was two or three particular crew members. I've had a great interaction with the Batwoman crew up until this night. This specific night, I did find a couple of crew members who suddenly are being problematic. And they were, they were trying to stop us from seeing what was going on, which is weird because it's a very... It, it's not a very spoilery scene. Um... <laughs> But um, <clears throat> there was a crow's security truck that was on set that uh, I told you uh, Sophie would walk towards. <clears throat> but as hard as they tried, we still got some pretty good shots of, uh, of uh, Javicia in her suit at uh, different points. Here she is about to do a scene and um, there she is pointing at someone. I can't remember who she might have been pointing at there. Um, Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> Here they are doing their walk and talk. Um, they, uh, it's weird because um, I've got one take where they started with uh, Javicia was ahead of Sophie in the walk, which made no sense because Sophie's, as you see, has got to turn around at some point. And I, I kind of weird, it was weirded out that one take that they did that made me think what's going on with that one. Um, but this is one photo here. Fans got pretty uh, curious about this photo and 
this was the one and only time I saw this interaction happen, so I don't know if that was an improvised scene that might not make it, or if it was um, a scene that maybe, I just, I didn't see it done more than once, but they did it more than once, because, like I said, there was several times throughout the night where we were having trouble seeing, because they were uh, being more of a nuisance than usual, the crew, and um, there was a couple times where I had no visibility, so they may have done that take at a different point, and I just didn't see it, but I only saw it that one time where they were standing there facing each other that time. Here's other shots of them from the scene in front of the car, and you can see Julia talking to uh, Megan in the scene. Here they are, doing the uh, walk and talk scene again. You can see the uh, camera off to the left of them. Um, there they are uh, doing the scene a little bit more. I've got a lot of shots from this scene. Um, kind of a little bit. And here's, here's a shot of the video again, um, in case you missed it the first time through. They, um, they did this this part of the scene, honestly, I think 50 times that night. Like, it, they did it a lot. Probably not 50, but easily 30 times. Like, often you'll go to a set and a take will be done in three to eight takes. But this night, they spent a lot of time on this particular scene. Um, I would say three or four hours was spent on this scene and that's not normally the case like it's a scene like there's no action done there's no fighting choreography there's nothing they had to choreograph it's a simple dialogue scene and um usually those, those go pretty quick and you're in and out of there in an hour maybe two but this one i don't know what was going on that night i don't know um if the director just had a feeling and he wanted uh, a, a particular look, but yeah, it took a while. So uh, that was um, what we had from the Batwoman set that night. Uh, not a lot, but uh, it, it's some of the best looks at the suit that I've had so far. So um, yeah, and you get to see Sophie and uh, Ryan Wilder interacting. So curious to see how much more they interact this season. And that will be um, the end of this Batwoman set. I do have more Batwoman content coming out. I was at a set just last week. So uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, maybe that'll be out. Um, until then, thanks and have a good one. Bye.